it's Emma, your GoDaddy guide for today. I'm gonna help you brand your business with my co-host, Justin Neely. Hey Justin, what's up? How are you? I'm good, how are you? Phenomenal. You know that old saying in marketing? What's that? If you're speaking to everyone, you're actually speaking to no one. No one, right. So you wanna really niche down. Follow your niche to get that rich, right? That's Ooh, little little dad catchy. joke there. When I think about branding your business, obviously there's a lot of questions. Where do I start? Where do I begin? Um, first thing that comes to mind and that I get asked by local heroes a lot is target audience. How do you yes. know what that is? How do you define that? That is such a tough question, right? So when I talk to a lot of entrepreneurs and people just starting off, they and I ask them like, who's your audience? Who do you wanna serve? And they're like, I wanna have everyone as my customer. <laughs> Give and me all the money. <laughs> all of them, everyone. And that's such a bad idea because not only is it super expensive to try to acquire everyone, you become just a generalist. You're not really known for anything. I would start by figuring out who you actually like to serve. Who is your pro most preferred customer or your favorite person? To, to serve in your business and really make a story around that. So if you were my target audience, right? I would say Emma, she lives in California. She really loves to, to surf and skate. She loves coffee, but she likes to spend a lot of her time on social media and really build a story around that. He so when, really gets me. Right? Soulmates. But so when I go and create my messaging and my content, I, I create it for you and your story and your pain and what you really want to solve, right? Which makes me feel valuable. Right, and I it's feel heard. for you. Yeah. And that doesn't mean that you can't help out Jessica or Sally or Billy when they come in and want your services. Don't forget John. And John yeah. and Eddie, right? But they, they can still serve them, but your messaging has to be about Emma. So that makes a ton of sense to me. Um, but also just now another question's brewing. So that seems like a goal, right? So goal right. one, find your target audience. Yes. But it's more than that when it comes to branding your business. So what do you do next with goals in general? What other goals should I be keeping in mind at this stage of my business? Well, you wanna define what's important to you. What is your goal? You should have something that you're trying to achieve. Otherwise, you don't really know what success is. And I would really focus on small wins. So first off, like get a website is that first step. And then get your first yeah. customer. And then you get your first 10 customers. And then kind of grow and grow and grow. And that kind of snowballs effects. Because a lot of business we talk to, they, they get scared of all the things they have to do. Uh, instead, start, start small, figure out what that first small win you can do, and then grow from there. I do the same thing just when I wake up on a Monday morning. <laughs> if I think about everything I have to do for the whole week. You're going back to bed, covers yeah, over your head. I'm just like, Let's, this isn't it's not actually happen Monday. Today. <laughs> One of my favorite things about speaking to local businesses, it's like they're so unique. Right. So I imagine when it comes to branding your business, that's something you want to take advantage of. Right. Yep. Like what is it about my coffee shop or my retail store that makes me unique? What makes me stand out? Is that part of building your brand? Oh, absolutely. You have to be unique. Right. If you imagine a line and on this line we have crazy and the middle is mainstream and on the right is prolific or unique, mm -hmm. we want to be basically right there. So like with your idea that the business I'm stealing, the coffee and kickflips, that's kind of on that unique <laughs> spectrum, right? There's a lot of just coffee shops, but there's probably no coffee and skate park shop. Well, right? now there will be because right. he's revealed our secret. <laughs> coffee and kickflips.com. But so you want to kind of make, make yourself different than the rest because everyone in the mainstream, it's a commodity, right? And that's why we build a brand. That's why we try to be unique is to try to set us apart and really be someone that someone wants to follow. And then kind of following up on that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lean on you for a lot of this is, is social media. Like yes, your brand, I was waiting for this that part. platform <laughs> is just, just so phenomenal at growing your brand and your reach. So if I'm a small business owner, I'm gonna lean yeah. on you. What are some of the platforms that I should be on if I really want to build that brand? Yeah, so you wanna be on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Also, don't forget your Yelp and Google listings. These okay. are the most important for a local business. But to your point about being unique, you know, you already are, but you need to voice that across your platforms. You're Super speaking important. to, yeah, that specific um, ideal customer rather to yep. come into your business. 
and spend then money with you. when you're when you're on social media too you have to make sure that it's not about you yes it's your company yes it's your brand mm -hmm. but your brand is there to serve your audience and yeah. if you position them as the hero you win absolutely let your customers sell you let your customers get your next customer in because it's word of mouth which is social media yep all right, so that's a wrap. I want to give a huge thanks to my co-host, Justin. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for showing us and teaching us how to brand your business. A so very hot topic. Brand is everything. I'm sure you have questions and comments. Be sure to leave them below and also subscribe so you can get more videos like this. Cheers. See you soon.